Hey guys, it's Rosie, welcome back. Today I'm gonna to be starting a really fun challenge. Well, I hope it'll be fun, I know it'll be challenging, but I'm gonna be going vegan for a week. So if you didn't already know, I have a lot of dietary restrictions already, so this is gonna be kind of rough and hopefully I don't kill my kidneys. But first of all, um, I've been gluten-free for about eight years now, I think. Um, I have a gluten allergy, so that is kind of non-negotiable. Also, two years ago, I had some kidney stones, and I still have one, so I had to change up my diet a lot. Um, I have to eat what's called low oxalate and oxalate. Just, I'm gonna give you a quick rundown. Um, oxalate is an anti-nutrient that is found in a lot of like plant-based foods, so it's gonna be a little bit hard to not kill my kidneys and eat vegan so I've been planning this for several weeks and I'm trying to come up with ideas that aren't gonna kill my kidneys so um that's why it's gonna be challenging I feel like if I didn't have these restrictions it would be a little bit easier but hey it'll be fun so I do like meat I do like eggs I do like dairy but I'm gonna try to live without it I think I'm gonna be eating a lot of like oats um, chickpeas I don't know what else. I'm going to give you guys a haul of what my mom got at Whole Foods to kind of show you a little bit of an idea of what we're going to be eating. And then I guess I'll just bring you guys through the whole week and show you every meal when I'm eating. Um, yeah, we made a bit of a meal plan. It's not super solid, but it's just got some ideas on it. We also have to go out shopping for a little bit more produce. But I'm going to bring you guys down to the fridge and we'll start this challenge with breakfast for day one. So I'm going to show you guys what my mom got at Whole Foods. She got two kinds of tofu, so I don't know what the difference is, but this one's teriyaki flavored, I guess, and this one is just traditional kettle style, so should be interesting. I've never had tofu before. She got vegan chow slices, creamy original, so fake cheese, and epic nature cheddar flavor block should be interesting. I really, really like cheese, so I don't know if it'll live up to my cheese standards, but um, vegan butter, because we love baking, so hopefully we'll be able to make some stuff. Vegan chocolate chips, nutritional yeast, and then we just have onions in here. So, of course, we're gonna get other produce. We have like avocados and stuff, but um, I guess I'm gonna start out with making oatmeal. We also have oat milk, but that's kind of a regular staple in my diet anyway. I will be making oatmeal with just instant oats um, and oat milk and then just like a little bit of either maple syrup or brown sugar. I don't know what it is today, but I'm gonna get started with breakfast. So snack number one today is popcorn and I'm gonna put nutritional yeast on it. Pop it in here.
so it's Friday and my last meal is in the oven so I want to give you guys kind of like a rundown of my whole week, how it went, how I feel now, just everything I guess. I'm just going to share what I ate every day and then give you guys my final thoughts and recommendations if you wanted to do this. On Monday, um, I ate oatmeal um, and then I had popcorn as a little snack. After that I had um, avocado and hummus toast, which is definitely one of my favorite lunches to have that's like healthy. My mom baked some gluten-free and vegan bread, which was definitely very crumbly, but it actually turned out pretty well um, considering the lack of like normally um, important ingredients for bread. Um, then after that I had carrots and hummus as a snack before I went to horseback riding. And then for dinner we had a really, really delicious dinner. It is called coconut apple ginger doll, so it's like an Indian food, I think. Um, and I don't know, it's really hard to describe, but it was so delicious, so it was definitely one of my favorite meals that we had. After dinner, I had hot vanilla, which is basically just like milk, vanilla, a little bit of sugar. It's a really nice warm drink, kind of like tea, but different. <laughs> um, on Tuesday, so every day of the week I had oatmeal as breakfast. Um, oatmeal is just kind of one of my favorite staple foods, for, especially for breakfast. Normally I would have been eating oatmeal every day, so this is really normal for me. So I just have like oats and then oat milk. Um, then after that I had some popcorn and chocolate chip scones. So I just had leftover popcorn from the day before and my mom baked chocolate chip scones. Then at lunch I had leftover dal. And um, for another snack, I had a chickpea rice and vegan cheese wrap. So the vegan cheese that we had was actually really good. I ended up eating it a lot and I will be putting it on my pizza tonight, which is in the oven right now. Then for dinner, we had squash gnocchi, which is so good. I'm gonna eat, I'm gonna make this so many more times because it is just so delicious. If you've had gnocchi before, you know that it's like this doughy kind of like dumpling thing, but with squash. It feels healthier, but it's still really, really delicious. On Wednesday, I had oatmeal again for breakfast. Then I had carrots and hummus and um, chocolate chip cookies as my snack. My mom baked these cookies. They were pretty powdery, so I tried to move on and find different recipes after this, but it still tasted good. And of course, we had like vegan chocolate in it too. Um, at lunch, I had leftover gnocchi and... For a snack, I had cheese toast, which is exactly what it sounds like, just literally cheese on toast. So, nothing too exciting, but it was still pretty good. Then at dinner, we had a really, really yummy African soup. At dessert, we had sun butter cookies, which I actually ended up making every day after this because they were so good. They are just basically a random recipe I pulled off the internet, divided into quarters, made it vegan, and instead of peanut butter, I made it sun butter because peanuts are not great for my kidneys. So on Thursday, I had oatmeal, and then for a snack, I had vegan bread and cheese again. Um, and then I had leftover African soup from the night before as my lunch. Then I had sun butter cookies again as my snack. And then for dinner, I had vegan mac and cheese, which was definitely not the best thing, but it was still good. So we had pasta, which most pastas are just by nature vegan, so that's nice. But then I put, I made kind of like an Alfredo sauce. It was um, vegan butter, oat milk, nutritional yeast, and coconut cream. So kind of very varied. <laughs> um, but then I also added vegan cheese into it and it ended up being really good. So then for dessert, my mom made lemon bars and they actually didn't turn out great. They were kind of like a vegan lemon curd, but if you know how lemon curd is made, it's normally made with a lot a lot of eggs so it wasn't quite right it was still good um, and of course I had already had sun butter cookies that day so I didn't need another dessert so Friday which is today I had oatmeal for breakfast and then I had hippies as my snack and if you don't know what hippies are they're like this gluten-free not free vegan snack they're basically like vegan Cheetos but they're so good and you don't feel bad about eating them because they're healthy kind of I guess supposedly um then at lunch I had some more of the vegan mac and cheese that I had the night before then as a snack I made sun butter cookies again they were really good um and then for dinner I'm gonna be having pizza and I will probably not be making dessert tonight because I kind of 
had a lot of dessert in the past few days after I discovered that I can make sun butter cookies. So that is what I've been eating for the last few days and I've had a lot of fun actually being vegan. I thought it was going to be really hard, but it was a lot easier than I expected it to be, especially with my other dietary constraints. I don't know exactly how nice I'm being to my kidneys with this, so it probably isn't super sustainable. What my mom and I decided was that we both felt really good this week. I didn't test how much energy I have with like exercising. I did exercise a little bit and I didn't see much of a difference, but I'm not quite sure, so I should definitely test that for you guys next time, because there will be a next time, because my mom and I are talking about doing a vegan week, like maybe once a month or once every few months. I think that'd be super fun. I don't know, at least try it a few times. So yeah, let me know what you think of this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed seeing me not eat dairy and eggs and animal products, whatever this week. I had fun with it. So make sure to follow me on all social media at Rosie Revolts. Check out my Etsy shop also at Rosie Revolts and my book at getoutdoorsbook.com and I'll see you guys later. Bye!